Got him, fire, and bye-bye, dude. Bam! <laughs> there goes the Orochi, man. Remember, his landing is the moment when he's vulnerable. And there it is, fire, and boom! <laughs> Yes, there it is! What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the fully boosted Mark III Vortex Artillery, if we want, with Overdrive, Nuclear Amplifier, Manny Pilot, 70% of the on repair use damage boost, and that all on a Fafnir, which I think I've never run the Vortex on. So this is gonna be a fun trolling artillery video as we used to do it all the time. Now we also have it on the Typhon Robot to make the perfect hits with the Blackout ability, right? Let's jump into the battle and enjoy this no line of sight requiring artillery rocket bombers. <laughs> Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Dreadnought. This could be a really good map, but first, Hundreds of champions, artifacts, weapons, and tactics. This is Ray Shadow Legends, an awesome RPG for your mobile device and PC. Use my QR code here on screen, all the links down below to get right now. This month has a crazy new special champion that many of you will recognize. It's Ninja, and he doesn't just look awesome, he's also a beast in battle controlling ice and fire and using his bow and arrow and katana. And he gets stronger the longer the battle goes on, which makes him the perfect champion for any boss battle and with his powerful area of effect skill that freezes, he will also rock PvP battles. Speaking of PvP, I love the classic arena battles in Raid. Choose a player opponent, choose your party members and let the battles begin. It's so much fun to see what champions and skills the other player is using and if your champs are up for the task to beat them, right? It has never been as important to lock into Raid as it is right now. You can get this new legendary champion Ninja for free only until October 15th. After that, you'll never be able to get him again. And aside from that, there's also a ton of new clan features, quests for you and your clan buddies, a clan shop, new champions to collect from fragments in the Doom Tower and events to take part in. So get yourselves ready and don't miss out on this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. See that inbox button up here in the top right corner? This is where new players will find their awesome welcome pack once they start playing Raid using my link down below or the QR code here on screen within the next 30 days. Because then you'll get next to important resources this amazing champion Chonoru here for free. So come find me in the game under the name Manny G. So here we go, our first target and boop and increased damage and BATS! Woo! Yep. That was the first victim, and there will be many more to come, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's keep this show on the road. Uh, there is another Orochi. And before I could even uh, get my ability out, he already did the thing. Fire at him. Alright, zero damage. Orochi is looking at me because I know he's, uh, he's shooting the rockets at me. Pew! Got him, fire, and bye-bye, dude. Bam! <laughs> there goes the Orochi, man. This is just too amazing. I love it. Vortex is... <laughs> All right, firing at him, and boots. All right, no fire, no hit. I think you can't really do it without uh, getting people suppress locked there with the ability. That's what you've got to do. And pew, got him, and uh, no, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. He's got the uh, phase shift ready. And he had even anti-control. Who's running anti-control on a uh, uh, on a uh, Ravana? That's weird, isn't it? And pew, and fire, and boom! <laughs> Another one-hit kill. We only have 10% boosted damage from the uh, nuclear amplifier, but man, I'm just having fun. I'm just having a blast right here. And uh, okay, yeah, he comes up flying instantly. That's cool. So, let's see what we can do once he lands. Remember, his landing is the moment when he's vulnerable. And there it is. Fire and boom! <laughs> yes! There it is! It never gets old, man. Zack, I got him locked and suppressed. He cannot move and there we go. Bam! Vortex, ladies and gentlemen. The most fun setup in the game. All right, so you want to see more of this? Here we go. Woo! Okay, uh, a hockey boy is trying to fly up. You know what's gonna happen when he lands? Oh, wait, what is happening? Why am I bu jumping now? I didn't do that, I don't even have a jump unit. Boom! It happens again! There must be aminos or something below me. It's the only explanation, so I got him locked and suppressed. What the heck? And boots, there you go, man. Who's doing this? Somebody keeps pushing me up into nowhere. Is this him, maybe? Yeah, that must be him, dude. And there we locked and fire and max damage. Bam! Wow! 
Even the Minos took a massive hit from this. But I've got to be careful because I think I have an enemy coming in from behind. No, actually he's going for something else. Let's go at the Minos. Tank, 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 tank. That should could be it for him. Pop, 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 pop. Titan Slayer, yes. All right, man, this is just too good. And pew, I disabled his ability. Fire, 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 increased damage. Yeps, there we go. Man, this is an awesome map for this weapon. I gotta tell you guys, this is an awesome map for this weapon. Let's go and hit some Arthurs from above. And fire, and boom. What? Not bad. Not a bad hit, actually. Would be awesome if somebody could get him locked. I should be able to do it, though. So let's do it from here. Uh, okay, let's pick the other Arthur, this guy. And fire, and boom. Wow. 30% damage against an Arthur Titan, dude. Insane. Here we go again, and fire. And boom. Another massive hit on top of him. We have a hawk right there. Alright, got him hit. That should be it for... He's breaking through my shields, I love it. Alright, into the next robot. There we go, we have two of them, I don't care. Let's go for it. Um, And he's gonna land now and... Boom! Nice! Down to last stand immediately. So this guy's rocking shield breaker. He just broke right through my shield on um, on the uh, on the Typhon robot. He simply ignored it completely. But we were having a good run with the Typhon. Let's keep this up with the Fafnir this time. Uh, the thing is, though, it seems like you're having a hard time actually getting to increase damage uh, on the thing. All right. Boom! Did I hit him? I don't know if I hit him. Did I get him there? Yeah, wow, I made a pa massive hit on the Fafnir. I don't know why, maybe he stood still for a second, but I, I made a perfect hit on him. Also, this is a nice perspective for the Vortex, isn't it? Dude, I've never fired Vortex from this angle. Fire and boom. <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is the most insane angle for a Vortex hit ever. So he's got cloaking unit on it. And therefore he's able to take down our titans. Fire and... I don't know what in the world just locked me down. And this guy is an incredibly anno annoying thing. Fire and... Boots! Are you think you're safe behind that? <laughs> no. I'm running Vortex, friend. There is no safety. Boots and boots. Up, up, and kill! Yeah! Fafnir for the win, buddy! Oh, look at the angle. Look at that. Okay, and fire, and boom! Nice! Wow, I'm firing right on top of him from all the way up here. Wow, man! Vortex! Fun mode activated! <laughs> I love it, man. Can't get enough of those weapons. I just wish that the shields and... Uh, and the, you know what we need from the Vortex? The, Pixonic has shown us what they need, what the Vortex needs. They've shown us uh, in the Titan version of Vortex, the Kistan and Bulava. We need more splash damage on Vortex so that they can bypass physical shields. Vortex is not too powerful. Vortex is not overpowered. It's just a trolling fun weapon. But right now, with all the shells and the speed that many robots have, you never really or very rarely ever score a really, really good hit unless you hit him with a Typhon first or you catch him as, a la as he lands, right? Um, so we need splash damage. This way we could hit moving targets a little bit better and also physical shields would no longer matter as much. So really, Pixonic, it would be awesome if we could get um, splash damage onto Vortex-like weapons because uh, the era of those weapons is truly gone. There's not going to be an overpowered thing such as Vortex or Aphid or Thermite anymore. Uh, but it would help those weapons remain fun and relevant and... Uh, Kind of memeish, you know. <laughs> so give them more splash damage and also increase their accuracy. Kisten and Bulava shows how it's done. All right, so here we are on power plant, ladies and gentlemen, and there is probably the most powerful vortex setup in the game, the Fafnir, because you can uh, have that shield, that mobility, the flight you can fire from the air, and you have a built-in weapon 
that will help you out take down enemies you can't hit with the vortex that are too fast maybe or whatever right so let's see what we can do of course we have to remember that um the Vortex really, really need a speed boost and an accuracy boost because most enemies I probably won't be able to hit um, unless they're landing or being locked down somehow by somebody, right? And uh, fire and boots. Yeah, that's next to no damage. See that? That's that's regular thing. This is Vortex play nowadays. Okay, and fire and boom. That was an okay hit because he was close to standing still for the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to make that happen multiple times. Fire and boom. Yeah, he was also stationary there. They're getting this beacon no problem, these both, these, these real champs. Um, Alright, down to last stand almost. Yeah, come on. There we go, last stand activated. And fire. Boom. Wow. Absolutely nothing done. But you know what I can use this for? The built-in weapon, I can use it to pump up the damage of the thing. Okay, landing and fire. Wow. I think I just did zero damage despite running four vortex at him. Okay, fire, 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 fire. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Alright, so overdrive is almost active, and we have 50% additional damage on the other thing. Bam, 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 bam. Increase, bap, bap, bap. Nice, down to last stand with the dude. So I can kill him through that last stand, I think. Nah, actually, I don't think I can. Alright, let's go for him then. Yep. Ah, oh, he's almost gonna die. There we go, nice. Let's see what we can hear. Fire and, uh... Okay, the blue shield blocked my entire double shot. I'll be firing every shot in sequence now. I'm sick of those shields popping up. And fire, fire. Bam, bam. Boom, boom. Nice. See, this is what I mean. Now we have a 75... Or no, 50% uh, boost damage from overdrive. We have 80% boost from the build... Uh, from the other thing. Fire. And phase shifting. Ah, nice. The shield was not enough, apparently, huh? You needed a face shift, too. Okay, down to last stand with him, and kill. And boom. Nice! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Uh, come on, die. Alright, so. Flying fast. Fire, and... Boom! Nice! I gave him a good hit before. Uh, he was, um... Actually, he's not even flying now, I think. So here is the target, and there is one too, and boom, I'm hitting him, activating extra damage, he goes 100% phase aggro on me, not going at anything else anymore, fire and landing, fire another salvo into the red, uh, blue, uh, purple shields, wonderful. Alright, but now we have the maximum damage boost running we can have, this is everything you can have right now, bam, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Another absorber shield comes up. I've got to remember this and I just fire two, one two and then fire the other two. If, if that's gonna happen, I don't know. Vam vam. Vam vam. Okay, this time there was no shield. What? How am I supposed to understand this? Well, maybe firing all at once. Fire and boom. Yeah. There goes the Fenrir, babe. Yeah. And here I have it, the first Titan spawning in. Fire and boom! Oh yeah! Good damage, good damage. He doesn't even know where it came from. He's looking like, what? What? Who did that? Fire and increase damage. Boom! Oh yes! A nice back rub. A nice back massage for the dude. Alright. So let's fly away here. Oh, we have a target there. Probably not gonna hit him very well. He's very fast with his thing. Fire. Yeah. That was to expect. I'm I mean we're probably gonna lose the match because they have these powerful meta dudes on the other side. Fire and boom! Now that was a good hit on top. Let's help out my buddy here on this flank. Uh oh, he's got lasers. And he's got cloaking. Oh my god, what do you what are you what are you not having? Fire 
hit, and boom! Yes! The Absorber Shield, of course, somehow blocked some of the damage, which makes zero sense, because uh, all the damage comes in at the exact same millisecond. But, of course, the game doesn't care about, about this. Okay, down to last stand with him. I can activate extra resistance once and extra damage once I do this. And the match ends. So Vortex absolutely not made her ready anymore, but still fun ready. You can still have a ton of fun with it. However, we really, really, really need if 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 the if the Vortex meme, if the memeish style and trollish style of the Vortex should be continued and or be allowed to continue, then the Vortex really need a massive accuracy buff. It needs to follow its target way more accurately than it does right now. Uh, and it needs splash damage similar to what we see on Kisten and Bulava, so you can finally ignore physical shields, and so that you can actually hit moving targets a little better. Those two things would help those weapons to remain at least uh, trollish. And again, right now it's like 70% of your shots are just worthless, because you're just firing into enemies that are either having stealth, physical shields, cloaking, uh, absorber shields, blue shields, whatever type of shields, uh, or last stand, or or they're simply too fast and you are simply not doing damage. With, but that doesn't mean you can't have good rounds. I've just shown you how you can still have fun, but it's very rare that those shots are hitting this well. And the Typhon is the one that can make it more often because you can lock people and then hit them well. Uh, but um, other setups that do not lock people down, maybe you can combine this very well with the... Um, Paralysis drone, so you're firing at the enemy with a built-in weapon of the Fafnir with a paralysis drone locking him down And then you score the hit, uh, but then again, you're only scoring hits with two weapons probably because you're flying, right? Um, but yeah, so still a lot of fun in those, but we need some help or they need some help from Pixonic to remain fun uh, For now, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you guys. Awesome as always. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.